Hi guys! So today's video is a very different type of video than what I normally record. Um, I'm not doing any type of makeup or beauty related reviews or anything, no tutorials or nothing. I'm actually going to be showing you guys some of my artwork. Um, as you guys know, I mentioned in quite a few of my videos that I've recorded in the past that I do like paintings, I enjoy painting and photography. Um, my actual professional background is in professional photography. Um, and I have taken a lot of courses, college courses, I took it in high school, and I've worked for a lot of different studios, um, but I've always really, really been a very creative person, and really enjoyed just every aspect of, like, artwork, um, whether it be painting, you know, mixed media, um, charcoal, drawing, you name it, I've always really, really enjoyed it. This video is something that, like, is... I've been struggling to try and record because artwork is so interpretive that what someone might find to be beautiful, others might find to be kind of like complete crap. So because my artwork is so personal to me and I hold it so near and dear to my heart, this is something that's kind of hard for me to put up and share with you guys. But because this is my channel and I do want to be real with you and because I have made so many so many close relationships here I kind of want to share a little bit of my life with you guys and this kind of more personal aspect of my life and I'm just gonna dive in the first couple of things I'm going to show you are more photography related um, and they're more on like the creative side they're not anything that's like portraiture or like landscapes or anything they're more like really creative stuff that I've done and both of them that I'm going to show you I did in the dark room it was with 35 millimeter um, black and white film so this is the first one I want to show you guys I took this in my college class my um I think it was my advanced film class I don't really remember um but basically what this is is two um negatives sandwiched together which is how you get kind of this overlay over the background of that like brick viney looking um picture and I just love it this was something that I really really enjoyed doing and I felt like it was way more creative than just taking your basic image and just using light and stuff to just snap it on the print and I just thought that this was like a really cool way to be creative. I dabbled with this a lot. A lot of my creative um, portraits and photographs and stuff are used with this double sandwiching effect. So yeah, this is the first one that I, I, I ever did and I really, I really, really love it. As you guys know, I have it framed and it, it's something that I hang up in on my wall and I'm very, very proud of it. I just, yeah, it's one of these, one of those pieces that I, I absolutely love. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I This is something that I just don't talk about, so it's kind of nerve-wracking. Okay, so this is the second one I want to show you. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. Um, this is also kind of like that other one where it's the double sandwich negative. Uh, I took two different pictures. The The picture here is actually like this, this shadow. It's actually of my best friend. Um, and then the background is a palm tree with like birds in it. And I don't know, I just thought this was so cool. Like, I don't I don't really know why I'm so into this. I just think the whole idea of it, it's almost dreamlike and fan fantasy-like. And it's just super, super cool. So this is another one of those kind of cr more creative photographs that I really enjoyed creating. I think I actually took both of these when I was in high school. And I didn't actually end up putting them together like this and doing kind of that technique, that cool sandwiching technique, until I was in college. I still have all of my negatives from my freshman year of high school. And someday I would really like to get like a dark room of my own and just be able to, to dabble in all this fun stuff again and print all these really cool prints and sandwich them together. and you know, use different lighting techniques and dodging and burning and just all this really cool stuff. I don't know. There's something to be said about film photography. I just, I've never really been one who's gotten really into digital. And, you know, it's, I know it's, you know, the new age and technology and everything, but it's just there's something raw and beautiful about a black and white film photograph. I love them. If I could do black and white, black and white film photography for the rest of my life, I would do it. Like, it's, such a passion of mine. I'm absolutely in love with it. 
And yeah, there's just nothing better than that surreal, beautiful, almost dreamlike look of a black and white photograph. So I'm going to move on to paintings now, and I just want to let you guys know that most of these are favorites of mine. Um, I don't have a whole lot that I'm going to show you because if I tried showing you my whole collection, this video would be hours and hours and hours long. That's how many paintings I've done, and that's how much I have in my collection. Um, some of you have asked me whether I've tried like selling them before, and yeah, I do, but I have, and I, and I actually do, but... I'm really not into like selling them. I kind of just want to give them away to friends and just really close people in my life that I know that they'll go to a home where they're really wanted and appreciated. Um, I just, I'm not really into like getting money from it. It's just not something that I'm interested in. Um, I am actually interested in maybe giving them away to some of you guys who I've become close friends with he on here. Um, so if you guys are interested, definitely let me know in the comments below and we can work something out where I can, you know, somehow ship them to you, whether you guys pay me for shipping or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, I just want a lot of these artworks that I have to go to a really nice home. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see these very well because some of them are a lot bigger. This is actually a 16 by 20. I titled this one um, Jolly Waters, and I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it's actually supposed to resemble kind of an impressionist style wave. Um, I really, really thought these colors were a lot of fun to kind of play with. Um, there's a lot of purples, pinks, creams, different shades of blue in here, and I was very, very much inspired by like summertime. I painted this back in 2012, the summer of 2012. And we don't, we don't have any oceans where I live. There's no, you know, big oceans. There's no beaches. And I was very, very much inspired by beaches and oceans because they weren't near me. And um, a lot of my artist friends that were, I was kind of collaborating with and doing some artwork together with them, they were starting to kind of get into like the beachy scene as well. So a lot of my friends kind of inspired my beach kind of artwork. And I do have a lot of other um, ones that are kind of in this collection of, you know, ocean, beachy, um, waves, that kind of stuff. But this one is probably my favorite. I really, really just love the colors in this. And it, it just makes me happy to look at. Like I said, it, I named it Jolly Waters, so it's just it's just something that makes me really, really happy. So I guess I'm going to show you all of my big paintings first. Um, this is also a 16 by 20. I painted this around the same time as the kind of wave beach one that I just showed you. Um, and this is part of a series called Song Elucidation. Basically, what this series was all about was trying to convey the theme and like the rhythm and the melody of a certain song using different colors, brush strokes, um, different types of medium within the painting. This is something that I would call a more mixed medium painting because it has, I have um, like gems in here, I have um, glitter, it just has all kinds of stuff in it. I even have a couple like puzzle pieces. These little pieces right here are actual like dry pieces of paint that I peeled off my palette and glued on. So this is something that I really, really dabbled in um, back around that same summertime and I still really love doing mixed media type of artwork. Um, it's just a lot of fun to see what you can come up with and create. Um, I titled, well I didn't title this, but this, um, this painting was from the song, was inspired by the song called Hard It Races, and I really, really love that song. I still love that song to this day. I listen to it all the time, and this is another one of those paintings that I look at and I'm just really proud of because it's so pretty. Like, just the colors and everything, how they kind of mesh together, and if you listen to the song and you kind of follow the flow of this painting, or this mixed media artwork, I guess, um, it really does kind of convey the theme and the kind of whole feel and rhythm of that song. So I really, really love this painting. Um, this is one I will probably keep in my collection forever. I don't think I will ever, ever sell this one or give it away because it just has a lot of personal meaning to me that, I don't know, I just really, really enjoy this painting. This next one is one that I painted a long, long time ago. I really don't even remember when I actually painted this. 
but this has got to be one of my absolute, absolute favorite paintings. Um, you guys know I'm really, really obsessed with owls, but I'm also, also very much obsessed with birds in general. I just think they're so cute. Um, yeah, like sparrows and, and just birds in general. I don't know if you guys have ever seen any paintings where you see like the birds, kind of like the, the love birds or sparrows sitting on a fence and the background's really cool and that kind of stuff. I was really, really inspired by a couple different um, contemporary artists that I've seen that did some paintings similar to that. And I decided to kind of take my own take on that and recreate it in kind of a little bit more of an abstract, impressionist style. My favorite, actual favorite part of this um, this painting is the background. I think the sky, because this is actually supposed to be a sky, <laughs> um, I think the colors just worked so, so, so well. Um, in this, there's a lot of like teal, teal kind of turquoise colors, gold, pinks, even some purple, um, different shades of blue, um, even a little bit of browns. This almost reminds me um, the background of the sunset almost reminds me of like sunsets in Arizona, which I think is why I really, really love it. Um, because our sunsets here are some of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever, ever seen. So I did title this Oh Birdie. I don't know why. Probably because there's birds in it. That's probably my only reason for titling it that. But um, this is one of my favorite, favorite paintings. So this next one I titled Journey. This is on an 8x10 gallery wrapped canvas. Um, I guess I probably should have told you guys what all the other ones were on. Most of them are on canvas or like flat canvases. Um, but this one I titled Journey, and I think the main reason why I titled it that is because you see kind of the paint here as it drips down, kind of goes through this journey of different colors and textures of paint. Um, this is a very, very textured painting, and I actually used a lot of different um, utensils to create this. I was really into kind of mixing up my utensils and tools that I would use and besides just using the ordinary paintbrush to kind of get different textures and um, play with the colors a little bit, blending them. And yeah, I really, really am happy with how this turned out. I used a fork mostly to paint this and that's where you get a lot of these like different colored lines and textures in this. And that's kind of where you get like the mix matching of paints kind of blending together a little bit. Um, this is also another one of my favorites. This one I wouldn't mind parting with. I do want it to go a good go to a good home. Um, so yeah, I love this one. And I think I painted this fairly recently, um, maybe a couple months ago. Um, I'm really into abstract art, so there's no really rhyme or reason why I painted this. I just was really into experimenting with different tools and colors and things, and this is what I came up with. So this next one is a very impressionist style painting of a Siberian Husky. I got really, really into impressionist style paintings of animals. I did a couple commission pieces of horses. Um, I also did a couple commission pieces of, um, I did an elk, I did a deer, I did a moose. Um, I did a whole series of um, like elk, moose, those kind of animals, deer for a gentleman. He was really into like hunting and that kind of stuff. Um, so I did a whole series for him, and I really, really liked the way they looked. That was actually the first, um, the first type of paintings that I got into with the more impressionist style uh, animals with the different colors and stuff. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoy painting this kind of stuff. It's it's just a lot of fun. It's difficult, um, and this definitely is not my best. I wish I had the originals of the, the elk and the deer, my first series that I did, because I think those actually turned out the best. Um, but this is one that I've more recently done. My husband loves Siberian Huskies. He wants to get one eventually, but as long as we live in Arizona, we're probably not going to have one because the climate is just not right for that kind of dog. But um, I did paint this kind of because I knew he loved it. He Well, he loved Siberian Huskies, and I knew he'd love it. So I painted this for him. Eventually I'm going to get it framed um, and kind of just hang it up maybe in our bedroom or something. I haven't really decided what kind of frame or what I really want to do with it yet, but this is a more recent one and I really, really like it. I like this whole style of impressionist kind of animal, colorful, bright, 
fun paintings. It's just so fun to look at and so much fun to create. So this is actually the last one I'm going to show you guys because like I said, if I were to keep going, this would be so long. I have so many. Um, but this is actually inspired by puzzle pieces. I did a whole kind of series on these. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right here in the middle is an actual puzzle piece that I glued onto it that inspired this whole painting. And I did that to all of the paintings that I did similar to this in this series. Um, I painted the painting and then I glued the puzzle piece kind of in the middle so it went along and corresponded with the actual painting. I don't know if you guys have ever looked at actual puzzle pieces, the small ones of course, they are so interesting. They are so colorful and have all these different lines and rhythm and movement to them. And it's so, it was so, so interesting to me how awesome they look. So you can create a, they look like a painting in and of themselves and you can create like a whole painting based off that, that one little piece, which is exactly what I did here. Um, basically I just repainted what I saw on the puzzle piece and I don't know, these turned out to be really, really cool. I sold a bunch of these. Um, I did a, I did do a kind of gallery showing of this whole series. I had about a hundred maybe, and I sold a bunch of them. A lot of people really, really love them. I'm, I'm actually kind of getting back into it. I haven't done it in over a year, and I'm kind of getting back into it because I just think the whole concept of it is so cool. Um, and obviously there's a very, very abstract but this is my favorite one out of the whole series that I did. I just love the colors. It's the colors to me that get me. I just love it. The pink, yellow, white, black. I don't know. It's just just cool colors. I love it. So, um, yeah, these are my paintings. All right, loves. So that is it for my artwork. I feel so incredibly grateful and so incredibly blessed that you guys wanted to know a little bit more about my personal life and kind of see this side of me. Um, and I'm just a really creative person and my artwork is my creative outlet. Um, it's, it's just who I am. It's, I've always loved it and it's just who I am and I feel so, so happy that you guys wanted to see this and you guys requested this because this is not something I would have normally thought of recording. Um, and, and, and showing you guys. So I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you and how much I value your friendship and value your time, just your time and your efforts to watch my videos. Um, let me know, let me know if you guys want to see another, uh, another video where I show some of my other artwork pieces because they're all my favorites. I know I said these ones are my favorites, but they're all my favorites. So I, let me know if you guys want to see more and I will definitely film another video for you guys. Uh, also I did mention earlier, but if any of you are interested in any of my art pieces that you want to kind of have in your home and I know that they're going to go to a good home where they'll be appreciated, let me know and we'll work something out. But I'm just going to leave you guys by telling you how much I appreciate you, how much I love you, and going to say don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!